Hello, good day class, and my name is Ibrahim Nasiru. Today we are going to be talking about satellites. Yes. So by the end of this class, you should be able to define a satellite. You should be able to state the categories of satellites. And lastly, you should be able to give the importance of satellites. Right. Okay, we move to the introduction. So what is a satellite? Or what is satellite? Satellite is any object that revolves or orbits a planet or a smaller celestial body. They come in shape, in many shapes and sizes. A satellite is a moon, a planet or a machine that orbits a planet or a star. For example, the earth is a satellite because it orbits the sun. Likewise, the moon is a satellite because it orbits the earth. Usually, satellite is a machine that is launchable into space and moves around Earth or another body in space. So, we move on. Now, what are the categories of satellites? We have two categories of satellites and they are natural satellites. And we have given example, as I said before, the example are the Earth and the Moon. These are satellites too. But they are called natural satellites because we say the earth orbits the sun and the moon orbits the earth so they are satellites and we have artificial or man-made satellites too that's those satellites that are men that are made by human beings here by scientists for different and various purposes right so what are the importance of satellites? Why are these satellites so important? Number one, they help researchers collect data more quickly than instruments on ground. When you launch a satellite, it will be able to capture more data and more quickly than any instrument on ground because a satellite is on space. So you can see everything that is happening on the earth here. Secondly, satellites can see into space that telescope, telescope at earth space, at earth surface cannot see. So when you launch a satellite, it can see what is happening on the space. Like it can study weather, it can study the humidity, it can study the radiation that is coming to the earth, it can study plenty things. So more than a telescope that you have on ground here and trying to view things that are happening on space and totally it reduces the cost of setting up telephone wires over long distance and underwater now that's about telecommunication we all know what telecommunication is and we all have learned about the history of telecommunication how telecommunication started and how it developed to this stage that you are here and can speak with somebody in UK, you are here in Nigeria and you can speak with someone in London. How does it happen? All this happened with the help of satellites. So we go on. What are the parts of a satellite? We have the bus, we have the antenna, we have the power source. These are the main parts. Then other parts include the camera, and the scientific sensors so these are some of the parts of a satellite and the antenna is the one that got the information that will transmit information and catch signals then the power source is usually a panel that provides power for the satellites to work we have cameras those ones that take pictures and then send the signals to us and we have scientific sensors and so many other attachments that will be put for different purposes of the satellite then how does this satellite orbit the earth most satellites are launched into space on rockets so we say a satellite orbits earth when its speed balanced by the pull of 
Earth gravity of Earth gravity satellites orbit at a different height speeds and along different paths. So that means it's all based on gravitational force. An object will continue in a state of rest or in uniform motion until it is acted upon by an external force. So this is the law into place or this is the law into effect that helps satellites orbit the earth right so types of orbits we have different types of orbits based on different criteria of classification there was an orbit an orbit is a path that a satellite follows so by this class will be discussing about only two types of orbits we have the geostationary orbit a geostationary satellite travels from west to east to east over the equator then we have a polar orbit polar orbiting satellites travels a north to south direction from the pole to pole from pole to pole yes so why don't satellites crash into each other? Because thousands of satellites have been launched since the start of launching satellites. Why are they not crashing into each other? NASA and US and other international organizations keep track of satellite in space. So that's one of the reasons. We have administrative bodies that take care of satellites they allocate distance for them they allocate height for them they allocate speed for them so collision is real because when a satellite is launched it is placed into an orbit designed to avoid other satellites the first collision was in february 20 2009 where two communication satellites one from america and one from russia collided in space and that was the first collision of satellites. And the first satellite that was launched into space was called Sputnik 1. And it was launched by Soviet Union in 1957. Yes, okay. So that's all for that in this class. But before we go, we take the summary. We say satellite is any object that revolves or orbits a planet or a smaller celestial body. And the two categories are natural and artificial satellites. Satellite comes in many shapes and sizes. Most satellites are launched into space or rockets. So that's the end. But before we conclude, we take exercise. Number one, what is a satellite? Number two, name two parts of a satellite. Number three, when was the first satellite launched? Thank you.